and please subscribe. Please subscribe. <laughs> She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. There must be something bad future. Hi guys, welcome to Math with Miss Mina. Today, I'll be sharing to you how I teach math online. Medyo mahirap talaga ang math. Or mahirap talaga. And it's very challenging, lalo pat ngayon, magtuturo tayo ng online. Or for our students, matututo tayo online. Bihan kami na magtuturo kami ng math online. Actually, medyo natakot ako kasi hindi ko alam kung paano. Ang naisip ko kasi noon, kung matuturo ako ng math online, is yung, yung PowerPoint, tapos lalabas yung, yung equation kada slide. Siyempre, ako naiintindihan ko. Siyempre, <laughs> naiintindihan ko kasi alam ko yung lesson. Parang, parang, parang naman yung mga sudyante ko, ano na. So, I did some research and I was able to get the idea, these ideas from already existing math YouTubers. And uh, very helpful yung mga uh, binigay nila. Pero what I found most helpful was actually Zoom and PowerPoint. My purpose is to help other math teachers, but I think it will also be applicable in many subjects. I'll be sharing to you the materials that I use, both hardware and software. Also, I will be sharing you my setup here at home. So the first uh, thing that I have is my laptop. The second thing that I have is my microphone. So, separate dun sa microphone nung laptop. Then, I also have uh, my mouse. And I also have yung Wacom Intuos drawing tablet. So, siya yung naging malaking help talaga sa akin. Paano naman yung software? So, yung software ko, dalawa lang yung PowerPoint at saka yung Zoom. Yung PowerPoint, ginagamit ko siya kasi nandun na yung lesson ko. Pero what I do is, I leave some space so that I can show my solutions there habang nagtuturo sa bata sa Zoom. So, I will set a conference sa Zoom app and then once I start, uh, uh, pag-solve pag ko is uh, using PowerPoint. So, nagsiswitch lang ako from PowerPoint to Zoom. First, I open my PowerPoint presentation. And ang gagawin ko, i-re-resize ko siya ng mas maliit dun sa screen. Okay, so pagka-resize ko sa kanya, there. And then, what I do is also uh, open my Zoom. So, nilalagay ko yung PowerPoint sa bandang baba para hindi maka-istorbo yung Zoom sa kanya. Dito ko ilalagay yung Zoom. And then, I've previously scheduled a meeting. So, yan, yung sample online class. And then, I'll start the Zoom meeting. And then, pagka-connect niya, i-set up ko ngayon kung ano yung magiging insura. So, I click join computer audio. Then, uh, while the students are waiting, I share my screen. Then, I go to advanced instead of only this one. Kasi kapag ito, nakikita nila yung paggalaw ng uh, lahat. So, you want uh, them not to be disturbed. So, for uh, the view of the students, I'm also going to record later. So, advanced. Then, itong portion of screen yung pipiliin ko. Then, if necessary, I'm also going to share my computer sound kung kailangan nyo ng uh, video. I will share. Tapos makikita nyo ngayon itong green na parang box. And it turns orange if it's paused. Yan. So ipopuesto ko siya dito ngayon. Yan. So for the meantime, I'll record this meeting. Yan. So nagre-record siya ngayon. And ang objective is ang makita lang ng bata itong screen na to. 
So I can probably exit this one. There. And then, ipoposition ko siya ng mabuti in such a way na magkakasya yung green na yun dun sa screen lang mismo ng PowerPoint. Yan. And then, uh, what I do is I start my video and lalabas dito yung uh, isang video ko. Pero sa estudyante, iba yung uh, effect. I'll try to use now my Wacom. So, may second screen tayo dito so that you have an idea of uh, what actually happens dun sa isa pang screen. Ayan. So, papakita naman yung connected na. And then, um, papansin nyo, yung cursor, sumusunod na siya dun sa uh, sa pen, sa galaw ng pen. Ayan. So, what I do is I uh, use this option sa taas na draw para mamaya makapag-solve ako. So, yeah. So, when I start my class, uh, welcome to a sample online pre-calculus class. I'm going to teach you how to find the vertex and equation of axis of symmetry given the equation of the parabola. So, mapapansin nyo, ito lang yung makikita ng estudyante, which is, this is the student's view, versus dun sa nakikita mo. So, yung nakikita mo is yung manipulation dun sa kaliwa, and yung estudyante, hindi niya alam yung nangyayari dun sa on your end. Ito yung importante, may space ka dapat dun sa baba, as I said. Find the coordinates of the vertex and equation of the axis of symmetry, given the equation of the parabola x minus 3 squared equals 12 quantity y plus 2. So, outside the student's view, I would click draw. And when I click draw, maraming lalabas na options. So, yung option na pinipili ko is yung draw option. And then, meron kang iba't ibang klaseng pen. So, yung ball pen, meron din mga pencil, and then may highlighter. Yan. So, medyo makikita lang nung bata itong portion na to. Pero siguro hindi naman masyado nakaka-store ba yan. And then, I would choose a different color. Yung magpa-pop kunyari sa black. So, let's say yellow. And then, ito yung thickness nung pen na yun. Okay. And then, I would try to, let's say, uh, underline first yung mga importanting parts. So, ang vertex, sabi mo sa bata, ang vertex kasi... It will always correspond to the H and the K in the equation. So, yung H is itong part na to. Ayan, pwede mo bilugan ng ganun. So, medyo tatansyahin mo lang dun sa uh, pad mo kasi kahit ako, medyo hindi pa ako sanay. So, tinatansya ko pa siya. And then, this is your H and uh, this is your K. You can uh, uh, undo what you previously did, para mabilis lang. And then, after you have reviewed, pwede mong uh, erase for example, yung solution. So, uh, pwede mong i-erase yung uh, nireview mo. Kung gusto mong i-erase. Pero for me, uh, siguro hindi ko muna siya i-erase. Yan. I can actually switch colors kung gusto ko. Depende. I would show the solution na. So, that's V is uh, having an H coordinate of 3 and a k-coordinate of negative 2. Ganyan. Okay, so, pag natanong yung bata, for example, bakit ganun, pwede mong balikan yung uh, equation. Ganyan. Pwede mong underline na ulit. Tapos, uh, if you are done with the problem, pwede mong i-box. So, you can use another pen. Let's say, I, wa I want this colorful one, this rainbow one. Yan. So, pwede mong i-box yung answer mo. Yan. Cute lang. Yan. And then, the next question is the equation of the axis of symmetry. So, pwede kang pumili ulit ng iba pang pen. Let's say, ito namang light blue. Nandito ka sa right side. Kaya, importante na meron ka enough space. So, this is axis of symmetry. And the axis of symmetry will just correspond to the value of h that you got. So, yung equation mo will be x is equal to h. 
So, that's x is equal to, so pwede mong balikan yun, the h value which is 3. So, again, pwede mong i-box yung answer mo. Pag binox mo siya, x is equal 3, that is the AOS. Pag tapos na and gusto mong i-erase yung work mo, then you can just uh, drag the eraser. Yeah, hanggang na siya. Do this new. Walking downtown and I'm okay. He's got it all figured out. That's what they all say, yeah. Everyone's looking at me thinking that I'm different. Everyone's looking at me thinking that I'm living. So that's it. I hope you found this video helpful. And kung nagustuhan niyo siya, kindly put a thumbs up. Kung hindi naman masyado, you can put a thumbs down so that I can improve these videos. And please subscribe. Please subscribe. <laughs> Bye. She lives a double life. Puts on a show. What's under the shadow smile? She's a Mona Lisa. Mona Lisa.